organised petition with U UCAT over homelessness, described as bad news by 701 and 713 main contact. We've always demanded a full public and independent inquiry. We want these people brought to justice for what they did. We want to end blacklisting once and for all within this society. Remember what we're talking about here in terms of um, the activities that people were blacklisted for. It was things like wanting back pay of wages, being paid what they were owed in the first place, toilets, and and health and safety. Health and safety. Yeah. You know, health and so safety. really basic things. They've employed really resourceful, intelligent people, mm. and you know, yeah. this yeah. just won't stand. So <laughs> people yeah. get really angry because it's extreme what they've done. When I see in the law books. Blacklisting is illegal. In the past, it wasn't illegal. In the past, you know, it was like that because you guys, and it's, it's fantastic. Well, normally, what you get is a, a builder will say, so and so's complained about the toilet being dirty or the scaffolding not being safe, and you get a report from an HR manager. Yours isn't like that, it's come from somewhere else. You see this in black and white, and it's just the most astonishing thing. You know, how did I end up doing what I was doing? How did this change the course of my own direction? We want to know which of the trade unions have been infiltrated, you know, when they were infiltrated, the names, the cover names of the police officers who infiltrated them, so that we can go through our records and see which branches they were in, which conferences they attended, all that kind of stuff.